Wow, 3DS Max 2019 is finally announced. And along with the new release comes a host of new features. So what are those new features? Let's begin with materials and textures. 3DS Max now officially supports OSL, or Open Shading Language Shaders. This is an open format shader authoring tool that was developed by Sony Pictures Imageworks for their in-house version of Arnold. The exciting thing about this release is Arnold in 3ds Max supports these OSL shaders natively. OSL is a very flexible shading language, allowing you to create your own shaders right inside of 3ds Max, or download any of the shaders available online for use in your 3ds Max scenes. In addition to OSL, there is a new wood texture available called the Advanced Wood Map. This map is an advanced procedurally generated wood that creates highly realistic wood textures. When it comes to modeling, the new Shape Boolean operation lets you use multiple shape objects and combine them using Boolean operations like union, subtraction, and intersection. Shared Views is another interesting new feature that allows you to share a scene or object online. This can be shared to show clients or get approval before moving forward to the next step in an animation or project. Some other updates and enhancements to the software include a change to the extrude and bevel capabilities of the editable poly object and the edit poly modifier. When extruding, the tool now respects the normal of the selected faces. Spline objects have also gotten an update, with the ability now to add end caps to renderable splines, and the ability to fix the occasional twist that happens between the first and last points of closed splines. There is also now an entire project menu showing you the current project, giving you access to recent projects, and allow you to create new projects using either an empty project folder, the default project folder, or the current project folder. 3ds Max Interactive has also gotten a couple of updates, one of the biggest ones, and one that will be exciting to the people who work in VR all the time, is the ability to edit a level while using the VR headset. There are also other changes, like smart placement tools, and an enhanced link between 3ds Max and 3ds Max Interactive. Another change affects those who do lighting inside of 3ds Max with physical lights and IES data files. The lights and the associated IES file now get transferred into 3ds Max Interactive and the link to the IES file is maintained. In addition, 3ds Max 2019 handles data and viewport interaction better than any release in the past. These are just some of the exciting new features available in 3ds Max 2019.